But I want to tell you, my God will not cancel you tonight. Amen. There you go. He will cancel you into loving one another, into helping one another. Amen. And uh, if we don't love one another, we can't love God. Come on now, just plain talk to If you show me that I'm not in the Bible, I'd like to say Like the Bible said, if you don't love God, He don't love you. Right. Amen. You've got to love one another. And the Bible said, hear me, see them, O oh Lord, my spirit, Satan. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down unto the pit. You know what, I'm going to tell you something. You've got people out there who you think are the best Christians in the world, the best friends in the world. You just don't know how much rattlesnake snapper biting you're doing behind your back. Amen. Come on now. Yeah, these people out there that you think the world of, and you think they're the best people they are, Miss Lucy, turn around and they'll bite you behind your back. Amen. That's not Christianity. Christianity is like you sitting here tonight and all in good harmony. The good spirit of God is on somebody's face. Yeah. Miss Debbie Morton has got her color back. She's got the choir tonight. That's God. Amen. 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 I don't come over here to, uh, to see who's here and how come you're here and why you're here and uh, what you got and all this. And people say, Boy, I've got this and I've got that. Well, if you don't have Jesus, you're broken, but... There you go. Amen. 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 Bible said, Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, and in thee do I trust. Cause me to know thy way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. You know, uh... There's people that I've been over backwards. There's a lot of people that I've, Brother Lance, just swallowed. Like Miss Devin Ford said, she'd love to hear me say it once in a while. I've had to eat crow feathers and all of that. But there's one thing about it. There's a payday. There's a payday. You talking about a payday? There's a payday coming. God's going to pay you for how you've treated one another and how you've treated him. Amen. Oh, it sounds good to me. Just deliver me, O Lord, from thine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. You want me to tell you something? When I was a young preacher, and I don't like that nobody, Helen, that has nerve trouble, I've had it. Thank God for healing. But I've had trouble with my nerves back when I was a young preacher. He was a preacher. He'd get rid of that two-horned devil out of his living room. Wasn't nothing wrong with that two-horned devil. He just learned to cut it off when he comes church time. Yeah, amen. If you can't control TV and all these things, you need another trip to altar because if you love it more than you love God, there's something wrong. Amen. 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 That's plain as a doornail, but boy, it's so sure good preaching. Go ahead, amen. Amen. <laughs> Deliver me, O oh Lord. Ask God to deliver me. Amen. I back in '62 or three in Louisiana, so I lived on Hudson Street, Morgan. When I had the nerve problem, the devil tell me this and tell me that. I took one, I started to take one spoonful of nervine, and I put it back in the bottle, closed it up, and throwed it as far as I could stand it. And about that time, four of my preacher friends that loved God drove in the yard and said, "The Lord said you need help." What did God say? I'll be there when you need help. I'll be there in your troubles. I'll be there yeah. when you need it. Amen. And we went up in a little pine thick. It ain't there now because they built these your houses that you ran all in there. But there, we went up there, me and Jay Griffin and these boys, and prayed. And old Jay anointed me, and boy, the nerves went the other way. Uh, bless my Amen. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. But my nerves are so bad. I'd go to prayer meeting and forget how to get back home. Yeah. It'll happen one day, honey. Yeah. Amen. But there's one thing about it. We can pray and say, Lord, I got out of the truck the other day and my hip gave away. And I said, now, Lord, I'm by myself. Can I have help to get from here to 
heard his door not fall, and that pain just left, and I walked right over the door and went in and had somebody to open it for me. God said, I'll make a way. I come out of a place here the other day, and, and this boy uh, pulled that apart, and I said, would you mind if I helped your arm while I stepped off this cement? I, he said, why, you sure can, brother. He told his wife, go on in there. I'm going to help this brother down. His friends, Miss Luke, there's people everywhere that still love God. Amen. Amen. You say, preacher, there ain't many here tonight. Ones that love God. Amen. 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 Now, Mary's sick, and some of them sick. There's a, there's a base that. For what I'm talking about, there's a lot that could be here if they want to. Right. Brenda's sick, bless her heart. She'd be here if she wasn't. Verse 10, is that where I got? Yeah. Teach me to do thy will. What is the will of God? Now listen to what my Bible said in one place, Tim Smith, that his children would be in good health and prosperous. You ever read that? Be in good health and prosperous. You know what? If we quit being so stingy, Lord help us. I'm going to preach it. If we quit being so stingy and show the love of God, God will work things out. Amen. 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 Yep. Amen. Amen. Come on. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of, of righteousness. You don't want your righteousness to go down. <laughs> you need to pick it up. Mom. How's your heart tonight? Mom. Is it beating regular? You need a pacemaker? You need a fibrillator? You need something put in there? God can take care of that. Amen. If we would pray tonight, I believe we've got enough people here. If we'd pray tonight for Gene Bum Gunner and believe it was in our heart, yes. they wouldn't have put that in there. He'd be all right. Amen. Amen. Preacher, I don't believe that. That's the problem. I, I believe he said, if you are asking anything in my name, and doubt not. I'll Amen. 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 Well, I'm glad God real. There's some woman asked Jean one time, bless his heart, he told me that. She was having prayer meeting. Some sister said something to her. She said, would you help me pray that she'll die? He said, all I'll do is. <laughs> You can't pray for somebody to die. Amen. I wasn't trying to be a smart aleck. And Louise said this morning to me, you, you act like you want to die. I said, Louise, I'm ready to go, and I'm not afraid to die. I ain't going to sit around and worry about it. I might fall dead before I get to that door there, but I, it'll be a, a fleshly death because I died spiritually a long time ago. Amen. 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 And you know the good thing, Frank, the Close my eyes and death before I got that door, I'd open in a brighter place than it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Lord, have mercy. That's enough for me. Our mic is all the door. Verse 11. Quicken me. You know what quickening is? Uh, I told somebody I'd like to have a stun gun. I can move people. <laughs> I told them one time in the church, we need an escalator. If they sing that song, I should not be moving my button and just move my door <laughs> face. <laughs> Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. Amen. I'm going to take something now, and I'm going to say it real plain. I want you to listen to me. America tonight is in trouble. Amen. Tim Smith. I believe we mentioned in their Sunday school in there, and Tim Bristol and some of them was all talking. We always have a good time talking about the Lord. If the people of America would turn back to God like y'all to, God could heal this nation. Amen. 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 God could heal this nation. Yeah. But you know what he said about it? If my people, which are called, well, that's over the Chronicles, my name, I'll hear from heaven. And I'll heal her land. Amen. We're going to get healed one of these days when the Lord comes. The Bible said in verse 12, And of thy mercy cut off mine enemies and destroy
joy on them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Preacher, I don't have an enemy, I'll guarantee you do. You say, Preacher, you're so smart, where's my enemy at? The devil don't love you. <coughs> and I can go that far, the devil don't love you, he's your enemy. He's the one to tell you, you don't need to go to church, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that, you don't need to pray. Well, I'm here not to tell you, I can't make it without prayer. Amen. 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 Bless you. But help me, Lord, to do thy will. Amen. His will is that we all be in good health and well to me. Third John verse 2. Amen. And Brother Steve, if we are to do that, we'll be a happy people. Amen. Amen. Somebody said that at the Glenn store years ago and I'd go get paint for the men. I had him still run my business. And I'd go in there and get paint. That paint man said, You know what? No matter what the preacher's been through, he always comes through them doors with a smile on his face. They ain't no use to frown about it. I told a woman the other day, Well, how long have you been? Where, how come you on that walking stick? I said, I've been on it 20 some years. Where you been? Well, why are you on it? I said, well, uh, if I don't use it, I'll lay in the floor. <laughs> but if I don't trust the man that gave me that, uh, the walking stick wouldn't be no good. Amen. Raise it real high. <laughs>